Fathers, teachers, my friends, members of uh, past people of Don Bosco School, Alakanda. In the very first place, I take this opportunity to wish every one of you happy Independence Day and abundance of God's blessing. On this day, as we celebrate the 77th Independence Day of our country, let us remember all our uh, past uh, leaders who have uh, sacrificed their lives, struggled hard in order to achieve uh, independence for our country. And if we are living in peace and in uh, freedom, the credit goes to them. And on this day, I am, I am reminded of the 17 most uh, inspiring words in 20th century American history which were spoken by John F. Kennedy around midday on January 20th, 1961 in Washington. The occasion was his presidential inauguration and came as he was concluding his inaugural address. He had just declared that the torch had been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this country, tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, proud of our ancient heritage, and pressed to pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, in order to assure the survival and the security of the liberty. Soon after he spoke the 17 words, and so the words goes like this. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Let me repeat. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Those words were positively electrifying. No president had ever challenged citizens in peacetime to sacrifice or commit to a larger vision. With that single sentence, Kennedy inspired people to new possibilities. He raised their expectations of themselves and of the nation. In response, some joined the Peace Corps, others the Green Barretts, thousands flocked to Washington to be part of the new frontier. Students thinking ahead to government service well, to law school or into programs with social benefits. All across the country, Kennedy's words change lives. All, really, because of 17 simple words of inspiration. These words are still relevant today. A less challenge to ask ourselves, what is it that we can do for our country, for our family, for our uh, school, for the neighborhood. We have elected people and thus must be held accountable for the job they are getting paid to do. But as individuals, we also have a responsibility to do something for our country. United, there is little we can do. Divided, there is little we can do. Was another gem from the same speech. In the words of John F. Kennedy, let your words become deeds. After all, if we are divided, there is little we can ach achieve. Help people help themselves is another wonderful slogan he used in the speech wherein he made a place to help break the bond of mass misery by helping them to help themselves. Most of us complain about the government not doing what they are supposed to be doing. Yes, we should complain, but what are we as an individual doing to help the country? You do not have to be a politician to help the country, nor do we need to do something mammoths, very small bit and start counts. Keep our surroundings clean, paying our taxes on time, following rules, helping people, being kind, all have tremendous benefits which compound to give amazing <coughs> results. Let us celebrate Independence Day every day 
and stay blessed forever. Once again, wish every one of you a very happy Independence Day. Bharat Mata Ki Jai Bharat Mata Ki Jai Bharat Mata Ki Jai Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Jai Hind Jai Hind